Hello. Today out there, um, there's choices to be made for athletes. In particular, athletes, <clears throat> athletes are looking for ways to fuel their bodies and they're finding limitations. Sorry. Athletes are finding limitations. Um, the products that have been out there for years are highly synthesized and filled with artificial ingredients. In fact, today, people are looking to fuel themselves with whole food fuel. People are looking for natural products, organic products, it's evidence in the growing industry in the grocery stores. You go to a grocery store and the natural food section is growing exponentially, the artificial uh, ingredient sections are diminishing. Pocket fuel. Pocket fuel is 100% natural energy. It's derived from whole food ingredients like nuts, seeds, dried fruits. We blend together healthy ingredients to fuel athletes' desires and passions. It's amazing how athletes like these can help drive a company. I started Pocket Fuel because I felt I wasn't satisfied with what was available on the market. Available on the market were, were things that just, I knew as I'd ingest them to fuel myself, they weren't working. I didn't feel comfortable with them, and it was just clear to me there was a gap in the market. Today, most energy fuels are filled with fillers. Try and pronounce half of these items and you'll have difficulty. Now, read the ingredients in pocket fuel. It's based on whole food ingredients. Things that you know, that you love, that your body can digest easily. That's what pocket fuel is. Our athletes come to us time and time again and thank us for what we're doing. They thank us for providing them with nutrition that works, with packaging that addresses their needs, and with a sense of environment. When I say environment, I mean being aware, be conscious of the people who you're servicing. I know what I need. I need lots of fuel and I need high quality fuel. They're the same. They need the same thing as I do. And so I created a company to provide that. Today on the marketplace, our competitors offer single serve packets. These single serve packets are convenient and they work. You can take a little bit, squeeze it in your mouth, and then a lot of times you have excess left in the pouch and it'll make a mess in your pocket. Or if it's a bar, it'll crumble and it'll melt. Okay, it works. But we know there's better ways to provide nutrition. From day one, we've offered packaging that can be reused. And when I say reused, you're talking about an original packet that you buy. Not only can you get what you want and portion out what you need, but you can refill it. In 2014, we're coming out with innovative new packaging. We've created the world's first flip top lid that's on a packet that allows you to take multiple servings. So when you're running or you're biking, this is a true need, there's a true problem out there. When you're running, you don't want to just wolf everything down in one shot. With a flip top cap, you can squeeze a little bit out, close the cap, put it back in your pocket and keep going and take some more later. As well, we recognize that there is a need for a single serve packet, so we're going to offer that because I cannot make the decision for the buying public. The buying public has come back to me and said, we want that, we need that. Okay, we'll give you what you need, but we'll also bring you other options. We'll bring you large bulk containers that reduce the cost that allows you to refill that flip top lid. You open it up and you pour, pour it in and you refill continually the same packaging. You reduce your footprint, your carbon footprint in the world. You, was, you save money as well because in the bulk packaging, you save money. We have world-class athletes coming to Pocket Fuel. They come from all walks of life, all different kinds of sports. And you know what? We don't have a penny to pay them to promote our product. All they ask in return for a little bit of Pocket Fuel here and here and you know once in a while is that they spread the Pocket Fuel love with the world, and they do a phenomenal job. With a grassroots support of world-class athletes, including Olympians, 
in multiple sports, the word is traveling. What started here in Hood River two years ago in one single retail outlet at Short Supply here in Hood River, in two years we've grown from one outlet to over 400 outlets here in the United States alone. We're also exported in multiple countries. We now have distri distribution in Australia and Taiwan. We're in negotiations with distributors in Europe, and the market keeps on growing. Sales for pocket fuel have grown over 100% annually. And this trend, we feel, is going to continue. One of the main reasons it will continue, in 2014, we're about to embark in a whole new marketplace. We're going to continue with our core market of sports, but athletes also shop for food, and they, where do they shop? They go to the local grocery store. We've been approached by some of the biggest players in the world. Whole Foods Market has decided to carry pocket fuel. We will be carried in, in Whole Foods Market, and this is an honor. They lead the trend in whole food nutrition at the grocery level, and they said they want us on the shelf with all those bars and all those gels that you've seen for years out in the marketplace. They want us because they recognize that we provide something different. We provide something that is not only tasty, it's nutritious, and it works. It works because of the ingredients. Combined with Whole Foods, we have a new partner lined up, and that's UNFI, the single largest distributor in natural and organic uh, grocery. They distribute to over 27,000 outlets throughout North America. They came to us and asked that we join them. So for 2014, I'd say we're in a very positive position for growth. If you're interested to join a company that is alive, that is vibrant, and looking to do good things in this world, as well as make a profit, please meet with me afterwards, and I'm open to discuss any and all possibilities. Thank you for listening. And I believe we have a couple minutes for questions. Yes. Yes, that's right. And I was just wondering what impact that had, do you feel, on everything? So the kick, that's a great example. So Kickstarter uh, went out to, we did a small Kickstarter campaign that meant a huge difference to us. It allowed us to, we, we promoted to buy these simple little boxes to put our pouches in, and it allowed us to go to a, to a retailer and actually have something to put it out on the countertop and made a huge difference. Today I look back at it and I smile because it was a plain white box with a couple of stickers on it, but it did the job. And we're actually, we're thinking about doing another Kickstarter campaign because trust me, all this takes a lot of money. <laughs> Thank you for that question. Any other questions? I'm open. Yes. Absolutely. So we've been investing heavily in infrastructure here in Hood River. We have a new facility. We've invested in machinery, uh, manpower, and we are, are geared up. Um, actually, we just had some uh, meetings recently, and at the minimum we can do is uh, $2 million worth of business with our current infrastructure, and we're looking to do $5 million very soon after that with the infrastructure. We're looking forward. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Well, you know, that's a, that's a good example. Um, I'd say that Cliff Bar is very focused on what they have in their um, bag of tricks. In fact, uh, about a month ago, I was at a trade show called Interbike, and I, got, I had the privilege of, we have a postage stamp of a booth. <laughs> it was inside another booth. And lo and behold, uh, who comes in front of me and wants to try pocket fuel is Gary Erickson, the founder of Cliff Bar. He was there with his whole senior management team two times. They came to our little postage stamp, not to check us out to see what they could copy, but to find out what it is to be 
that innovative brand, what we're doing. And I went back and over and spoke with their uh, director of marketing worldwide and asked her straight out, said, why is Gary coming to the booth? And I believe them 100%. He's coming because he wants to understand his marketplace and know that are we going in the right direction? Can I be concerned that I'm gonna be knocked off? Of course I can be concerned. But is that my business? No, my business is to go forward. His business is to go forward. If he is so immature that he's gonna change his whole business model because of me, I'm not too worried about him because he's not staying on, on course. I have to stay on my course. Yes? I've just been curious about benzene and stuff. Yep. What's palm fruit oil? Palm fruit oil is derived from the uh, palm of the uh, the uh, palm tree, and it's just a derivative. It's actually the one ingredient that people question what it is, and I've actually, in 2014, all of our ingredients, we're gonna switch. We have some that use sunflower oil and some that use palm fruit oil. We're switching all palm fruit oil to sunflower oil. So do you guys make that? Yep, some, there's, some, there's some, we <laughs> purchase from sustainable farms, but to say that and prove it every time, it's not worth the effort. And, Sunflower oil is readily available and it works great. All right, that's how much time we have. We had one more. One more. I didn't hear you say, do you manufacture it here? In we manufacture everything here in Hood River. Packaging as well? Packaging as well. That's good. We're taking control. Thank you.